We got a bit of a ride tomorrow. Uh, it's out in Mosier. Ron wants to do some recon, and everyone keeps talking about big knobby tires. And I have bikes with big knobby tires, but the Ascent has a broken seat collar, and the P29er brakes need to be bled, so they don't really work. So I have to take the bomb track. And there's something to be said about having a lot of bikes and the luxury of it, but that also means there's a lot of maintenance. Just because I have a lot of bikes doesn't mean they're always all working. So I might be underbiked tomorrow. But that, you know. Helmet, shoes, bike, water, nutrition. Pick up the homies. Wahoo. Why do I feel like I'm forgetting something? So we got about a 35% grade dirt crawl. There's a giant storm approaching on the starboard side. Send help. Yeah. What I saw, what I saw you and that got talking, yeah. And something deep down in my soul said, go ahead and cry, boy. What I saw when I saw you and that guy who walking well, let's go back and, and I, ooh, I would rather I would rather go blind, girl. Let can see you walk away from me. Yeah. I would just sit there thinking. About you hey Ryan, what do you got here? You remember these guys, the old delicata sandwich? What's inside of it? Nothing. With a reflection in a glass that'll help the Melissa Bain. The feet, all the tears ahead of my face. I love the sound. And if we get from the orange dot, no, the blue dot to the orange dot, we'll live. Which way is that out here? Uh, if we hit the river, we've gone too far. <laughs> Let's try that way. There is no. He's, he's that way. Yeah, he's that way. I hit to you in the way. <laughs> most of all, most of all, I just don't want to be free at all, you know. And I gotta say, woo. Leaking the tire down to flat, pumped it up, heard a hiss, realized there's a babyish sized slash in the tire. We're gonna attempt to plug it so we can continue to ride. Wish me luck. It's so amazing to me that this works. Just shove some vulcanized string in your hole. Wow. Unknown leakage, only to reveal plenty of sealant. Patch didn't work, don't know what to say. We're going tube, but at least there's a tube. Hey, 
Doug. What's up? Tell me about your bike. It's a 12 plus year old spot brand made in Golden, Colorado. First one off the production line when we started up. Still has a triple. It's the only triple I know around here. Small block eight, 29er. Used to be tubeless, tube now. That's it. Oh, John Deere green. Fantastic recon ride. Explored dead ends. Filled in some blanks of Ron's route mastery. I wouldn't call it mastery. I'd call it uh, apprenticeship. <laughs> and the ride by the numbers. Should we give him like a warning or like a disclaimer? <laughs> it's kind of a disclaimer. It's it's definitely like mountain bike exploratory ratios. So yeah, the numbers are a little weird. 15 miles, two hours, 37 minutes. That's moving time though. The whole day was like six hours. <laughs> and 3,500 feet of elevation. But if you had seen those angles, those angles. <laughs> it's all about the grade. Yeah, it is all about the grade. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think about how much work goes into building some of these routes. This was a six to eight hour day, two and a half hours of riding, just to check out one small segment that could be a portion of a much bigger ride. Sure, there's a certain amount you can do by looking at maps and seeing what people have done on Strava, but to make a really good route, you have to do recon. And that means it's going to be a day that's not really a bike ride, it's kind of a hike, but you have your bike and you don't really know where you're going, you might get lost, and it's probably not going to be that fulfilling. But in the end, what you learn from those recon rides Piece together to make some magnificent and epic routes. Look no further for proof of this than our mother the mountain.